Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I'm Helen D. Thanks for stopping by. Um, this is another base review video, and this is a base that I have I've reviewed it. I, I reviewed this is the the scatter base that I reviewed um, a few days ago, last week I think, and then I did an update on it, and I like it so much that I'm doing it again. <laughs> and honestly, that's just because this is this base is performing so well that um, I I'm just I, I'm comfortable running it, so I have been running it. And also a little bit because my, my bases have gotten a little bit out of sync. And so I, I'm just stuck with this one. Um, so starting tomorrow or for the next league day, I've got a new base loaded for both Snake Eyes and for Warlord. So I'm going to have a review on that in a couple of days. Um, but with Scatter, this is such a solid base. Here, let me, let me show you the base so you know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go the photo mode all right so this is it's a it, this is a challenging base i call it scatter for two reasons um one you got these big scatter compartments and right, with the scatter shot compartments um here and here and the other reason is that this base has a tendency to make troops scatter like they just they go all over the place they don't like to they, they don't go through the base the way you expect them to your troops have a have a real tendency to just kind of to take off and go all over the place. So they scatter. So that's why I call it scatter. Anyway, in the most recent iteration, I've run this base for five days. Right, five days, and of course, um, spanning the end of the last league season and then the new season. So two days above five thousand four hundred trophies. And then, then, then the last three days, yeah, 5,000 and 5,100 trophies in that range. All right. Now, um, part of the reason I, I did this again was because my previous reviews were just below 5,400, right? The 5,300 range, I did, I did have one day above 5,400, but I wanted to get more time above 5,400 just to see how well this base performs because I, you know, we noticed that cutoff before where bases do they do well enough below 5400 but then when they get above 5400 that's when they start getting they start facing stronger attackers more skilled attackers and they, they kind of suffer a bit all right um so a couple of key notes things to keep in mind here so over 11 days total running this base only three stars against right only in right 11 days in legend league only three times was this base tripled and that that's remarkable and those three star um, attacks against this base all came above 5400 so below 5400 pretty much it's a solid two right that's that's what it is this is a, it's an anti two star base and let's get into um, some replays so you can kind of see see these in action so johannes here is coming in with the yeti bow and you know anti two because you got the, you got the town hall in the corner there it's not it's not one of those extreme teaser type bases but it is you definitely got the town hall to the side so most attackers are going to come in and make sure they get the town hall and then get to 50 percent to get the two star um i'll tell you the few single stars against this base are when people come from the far side thinking they got to get to the whole base and take the town hall last and then they don't get there all right so johannes is coming in it's just a simple this is straight spam a little quake to open things up and then it's just a line of yetis and bowlers and and then throw the healers in there or not the healers the heroes and we're just throwing everybody in and see what happens right uh, a random balloon coming out of the siege barracks okay maybe, maybe to pick up a seeking air mine to protect the ice golem i, I don't know um but anyway look you see what that happens right those the, the mass of the troops go get in the center that was quaked open just expanding things further and they they spread right those troops just go bam to the scatter shots and they, they get wasted right they're, they're done at that point um so you know at this point we're going to pick up a few more destruction percentage points but th this attack has pretty much culminated queen still got her ability and she'll certainly pick up a pick up some more points with that but um we're pretty much pretty much done here right and we're at 62 percent destruction right now and like i said my, um, minus 23 trophies for this defense it's not bad i'll take that and that was of course this was in the 5100 range but even then 
Minus 23 is not bad at all. I'll take that every day. Oh, we don't want to do half speed. That's even worse. What are we doing here? We're just picking up a couple extra points. All right. And let's let's talk about the great one. All right, great one's coming in with, uh, this is uh, another Yeti bow with healers, four quakes, log launcher. And you're going to see some, a pretty similar strategy here. And it's really just getting those, ensuring you get the two star by making, you know, making sure you get the town hall. Um, and after that, you just kind of hope for the best, right? So we'll throw the quake in there. The quake maybe could have been placed a little bit better because we only opened up really just the one wall, the, the one scatter compartment. Um, a little bit different tactic here in that he put everything right around 12 o'clock. The great one, the great, Wayne, Wayne Gretzky's the great one, right? Um, all right, so, but yeah, just throwing all the troops in there. And I mean, shoot, I, I guess I, I'm criticizing, but I've done this before myself, right? I just, I just kind of make sure I get the town hall and I'm hoping everything will kind of flush down the middle, down to the core of the base. It doesn't always work out. So hey, here we go, um, into the scatter. My cat is paying me a visit. She's not appearing on camera just yet, but she may. All right. So unprofessional. Unprofessional. All right, where we got? So troops, troops are spread apart. All right, right. Queen went off to, to the right side, or well, I guess our left. Uh, Queen's right. And then you got the, the Yetis with the healers kind of sweeping down from three o'clock. Um, but again, pretty much done at this point, right? You know, the, the heal is going to keep the, the Yetis alive for a bit to, to pick up some more more uh, damage per percentage. Um, but ultimately, this is a minus 26 trophy defense. And that's that's not bad. And honestly, at minus 26, that's that's kind of right in that, that Swedish spot. Actually, a little bit on the high end, honestly, of the, the average, um, average defense with this base. All right, uh, Grand Warden painted walls. Don't need to watch that. All right, and then the last one I wanted to show you is Omega. And Omega is another two star, and this is a minus 20 overall. And Omega's just coming straight Yeti bow, just look, pure 12 Yetis, 14 bowlers. Just, I'm bringing it. <laughs> just come with the muscle, right? Um, eight quakes, you know, again, and look, I get it, Legend League, you, you hit attack and you get the base you get, and you got to attack with the army you've got. The only flexibility you have really is in adjusting, giving your your siege machine. Um, you're trying to go with something else, maybe a maybe a blimp instead of a log launcher or something along those lines. So, you, you, what are you going to do? You come in with eight quakes. You got to figure out how to best use those quakes. I'm running an attack strategy right now that uses eight quakes, and I have those bases where I'm like, oh, I wish I had like a jump and and a couple extra freezes or something. All right, but just yeah, bowlers and yetis from nine o'clock to twelve o'clock, dropping siege racks right in the middle, and and for my clan castle guys, I'm running the ice ice golem and a lava hound. Doesn't always work out. It's um, not quite as helpful on air def, air def, air attacks when people come at me the e drags, um, but a lot of people are just using ground spam right now, so it it works out. Right, so again. Troops get into the middle and then they spread out. They go after the different scatter shots. Some go left, some go right. You got the hogs coming down out of that siege barracks. But once troops start spreading like that, they're just they're they're gonna get wiped out, right? It's like a, it's a divide and conquer type principle. It, it really is. It's we're we're going it, we're staying basic, right? <laughs> warfare is warfare. All right. All right. Queen's got our ability, but. This, this attack is, is culminated at this point. All right, let's speed up the last few seconds of this one. And like I said, this one ends up being a minus, minus 20 trophies, two star. I mean, that's honestly, the, I've seen one stars get 15%. I have had one star attacks get 15, 15 trophies. So like, minus 20 is great. I will take minus 20 all day long. All right, gang, so overall numbers. Um, I'm breaking this apart above 5,400 and below 5,400. So above 5,400, day one, um, 26.25 minus uh, you losing trophies, 26 trophies per defense. Uh, day two, you lost 24 trophies per defense. 
And then day three at 5,000 to start the day, lost 25 per defense, 25.3. Day four, and that was at a 5,100 plus day. And that was uh, 26 trophies per defense. And then day five, which was today, a um, bit of an outlier, but average trophy loss of 20, 20.8 20 per defense. Five, two stars, one, one single star. And minus 20. That's that's great. Um, so overall, over the for those last five days, those days combined, 35 attacks total, average trophy loss of 24.7. And gang, I'll take that. I, I will take that. If you're losing 24 trophies on def defense on average, you can you can you can advance in the game, right? Because you you, you have to bet on yourself and you have to figure, okay, I can do better than 25 trophies on average. On offense, so if my base is, is only giving up 25 per defense, then I'm going to come out ahead on the day as long as I get my eight attacks in. And as a bonus, sometimes people don't attack you. All right, gang, um, I got a, a new base next time, I promise. And I'll try. I'm going to work on some different materials. Um, I don't. I can't promise new uh, attack strategies because I'm loving the super archer so much that I'm just going to do more replays of that. <laughs> All right, gang. Uh, I'm LND. Hey, if you're not subscribed, please, please do subscribe. Um, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. If you want to use this base, uh, the link the link is there in the description for you. I'll drop it. Um, but hey, come back and let me know how how I did how it did for you. All right. We're all we're all kind of learning this game together. Unless we end up attacking each other, then that'd be bad to share. But hey, have fun, guys. Take care.